Hey, it's Henry and Jeff here from Volant and the Badminton Podcast. When Arc Saber 7 Pro? Now. Right now? Yeah, right now. Let's do it. Yeah. Now, in case you forgot, we assess rackets on four main metrics with a score out of 10 for each. They are feeling and handling, control, power, and speed. If you know badminton rackets, then you've heard of the Yonex Arc Saber series. It's been an incredibly popular series for the last 10 years, especially the Arc Saber 10 and 11. This time we're looking at the brand new Arc Saber 7 Pro, where Yonex has used an all new Arc Saber frame built for control. Now, similar to the Arc Saber 11 Pro, its new frame features grooves on the top and bottom part which makes it more <laughs> stiff, reducing unwanted twisting and distortion. And the middle part of the frame, all the sides, are built to be more flexible, improving shuttle pocketing, which ultimately increases shuttle control and comfort. Now the top part of the frame is also lined with pocketing booster, a proprietary rubber-like material, emphasizing elasticity in the frame's flex. And of course, it also has the expanded isometric frame that allows for a larger sweet spot. We tested the 83 gram or 4 u version with x 65 strings at 28 pounds. Ding, 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 ding. Nice. So, how did it play? Well, while we already knew that this would be light, because it's only 83 grams, it also had a light profile when maneuvering and swinging at 30 air. It was comfortable to use in all range of motions. Now in true Arc Saber fashion, control with this racket was a clear standout in combination with its smooth feeling and handling. We could quite easily guide the shuttle where we needed to. Although if you're considering the 11 Pro instead, this racket probably isn't quite as good in that department, but it's not far off. Yeah. Now, the power as expected wasn't that great with this one. Despite being medium flex and quite light so that we can generate a fast swing speed, you aren't going to clean up your opponent with a single jump smash. You'll probably take a few. Three or four, five. Yeah. Well, Six. 10 for me, I've got a weak smash. But uh, that's mine. <laughs> <laughs> On the flip side, because of its weight, it is really easy to maneuver the racket. So it's really good for fast play. And for how it looks, well, this color palette doesn't really suit us, but it might suit you. So, for the ratings. For feeling and handling, we gave this 8 out of 10. For control, we gave it an 8 out of 10. For power, a bit lower, 6.5. And, and for speed, we gave it an 8.5 out of 10. So that gives us a grand total of 31 out of 40. So, who's it for? This one's for you all-rounder players looking for Arc Saber performance but are looking for something slightly cheaper than the ArcSaber 11 Pro. Now, generally speaking, we would suggest that this one's great for intermediate or club level players all the way up to advanced players, although advanced players may prefer a 3U version instead of this 4U version. Mm. And beginners can also consider this one as well if they're looking to start their badminton journey with a more premium racket. It's certainly more of a singles racket, but would also do well in the front court and the mid court for doubles too. It's not quite designed for rear court players just because it's lacking the power that you need to be such a powerful player. So we'd consider looking elsewhere if you're one of those types of players. So how much are we talking for this bad boy? Well, this one is going to set you back about 250 Australian dollars. So based on this and how it plays, would we try, buy or deny? We think try. If you're after even balanced Yonex rackets, with the price difference of just around $30 between this and the ArcSaber 11 Pro, we'd probably suggest you giving them both a good go before you commit to one of them. But if you want to spend a bit less, support the work we do, and you're looking for an even balanced racket, then you should really consider one of our rackets, which is the Volant Rogue S1. The link to the website is in the description below. So thanks for tuning in. Make sure you share this one with your fellow Arc Saber lovers. Turn on those notifications and we'll see you on the next video. Catch ya. Bye. 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 Bye.